Blessed Lord, we give you all the praise and all the honor and all the glory this day. We thank you and praise you for every single person listening to this word right now. We thank you that they are healed by the stripes of Jesus, that your glory, your presence, our Lady Anakashiki, all that you are, pours into them this day. We thank you that we are healed by the stripes of Jesus, by your holy word, by your holy presence, your spirit. We thank you, Heavenly Father, that you are with us all this day, wrapping your arms around us, keeping us safe, protecting us from the world and the Kriyanakash darkness that Kriyanahashikiri resides therein. We thank you and praise you, Haleyanakoshi, that you are our God, and apart from you there is no other. We pray for salvation this day to fall across the land, redemption, reconciliation with you, Father. We pray for an awakening across the world, a global awakening in spirit and in truth, when the true worshippers will arise and declare the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. We thank you and praise you this day for your holy word, your holy Bible. We thank you, Lord. By your Spirit you speak to us, personally, one on one, directing our path, guiding our days. Thank you that you are with us, that you will never leave us or forsake us that you are always by our side. Father God, we pray for a strengthening in the body of Christ this day. Thank you, Lord, that you are going to go before us. You light up our path. You show us the way to righteousness and truth and peace and life. Thank you that eternal life is found in you, in your Holy Son, our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Thank you that we are healed by the stripes of Jesus, our Lord. Through his death and resurrection, we can find our peace, our redemption. Thank you for taking all the burden of sin off my soul. We pray, Lord, for knees to bow and tongues to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. To your glory, Heavenly Father, to your glory. We thank you and praise you this day for the gift of your Holy Spirit, that you have not left us as orphans on the earth. We thank you and praise you, Lord, for this prophetic word going forth unto the nations this day. We thank you and praise you for life and life abundantly. Blessed children in the world, this is your Father in Heaven speaking with you now, the I Am of all creation, lover of your soul. Come to me this day, my children. Come into my Kriyanahashi embrace, Kriyanakashi Kiti, feel my love, my goodness, my kindness, my gentleness. Embrace me this day, my children. Embrace my holy word. My son, my holy son, is the way and the truth and the life. Give unto him your whole heart and soul. He will never leave you while you live upon the earth, my children. He will be your God, your King, your Lord, your Saviour, your Redeemer, your Friend. He will help you through this lifetime. He will cleanse you of all sin, all the burdens that you carry, the darkness in your soul. He will lift. 
My children, all that you have done in the past can be lifted from you now, instantly, my child. For he was bruised for your transgression, he was crushed for your iniquity. The punishment that brings you peace was upon him, and by his wounds you are healed. Receive his offering of love upon your soul now, my children. Open your ears to hear my words, your eyes to see, your heart to know and understand my love for you this day. My children, I am speaking to you through the gifts of the Holy Spirit. It is not this child on the earth who speaks to you now, but my spirit my spirit is one with hers. She hears my voice so clearly. And she is able to speak to you directly for me. My children, I am in spirit and I am in truth. I inhabit your physical being. And you can hear my voice. You can all hear my voice if you want to. Just ask of me, my children, ask of me this day. I will give unto you the gifts of interpretation of tongues, the gift of tongues, the gift of prophecy and revelation, wisdom and knowledge. I will give you the gift of faith and miracles. I love you, my children. Go forth in my name, doing good in the land. I see the fear encircling the world at this time. My children enter into my rest. These are darkened days, darkened times, days which are fearful, unknown, uncertain in your world, days which have never been seen by the likes of man before. But my children, great good is arising during this hour. Many are coming to salvation. Many are watching the church services. Kiriyanokoshi on their phones for the first time. Many who have not felt welcomed into my holy church are hearing the gospel. The gospel is being preached to all nations as we speak, my children. Through your internet services, your websites your YouTube channels, your Facebook pages, everything is coming together for good for those who love the Lord. And my word is going forth unto the nations exponentially, my children. Everything happens for a reason in your world, my children. Do not look at the circumstances around you. For I am working all things for a greater good for my kingdom. So many are praying unto me during this season. So many are repenting of their sins and turning from their wicked ways. So many are choosing to be obedient to my will. They know my will, but they weren't doing my will. So many have a reverent fear for the Lord at this time, for their eternal soul. Nakashi, at the end of the day, my children, it's all about your eternal soul. Where you are going after this lifetime, whether you believe in me, whether you have received my Holy Son into your life, whether you have been filled with my Holy Spirit and become one with your Father, one with my Son and one with the Holy Spirit. Nakashi, during these great days of trial, my children, Anyanaha, the devil arises. There is great evil afoot in your world. Resist the devil and he will flee from you, my children. Resist him. In the name of Jesus, resist the devil. Resist evil. Temptation will come your way. Addictions. Trials. Oh, Makishikite, hold on to me during this time, my children. Do not walk into the darkness. Do not walk into the ways of the world. Do not act frivolously. I love you, my children. I'm your God and I'm speaking with you now. Come to me. Read my holy word daily. Worship. Pray. Praise my holy name. 
I am here for you all, my children, and that is why I am speaking with you this day through this holy servant of mine. I have been planning these Grimeke messages since the beginning of time for your generation, for you. I am speaking to you now, one on one, my child. Listen to my voice. Believe. Trust. I love you. I want to walk with you into paradise. Oh, the plans I have for you, my children. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. Plans to take you into the heavenly kingdom, which awaits all souls upon their life's end, who believe in me, who put their faith in Christ my Son, who have been forgiven of all their sins. There is an eternal paradise waiting for the souls of man, the kingdom of heaven. Generation after generation, I have been warning you, preparing you, my children, for all which is to come. And now is your time to accept or deny me, to receive my Holy Spirit, my gift of love upon your life, to want to change from who you are to all you can be. To want to turn from your wicked ways, your sin. I will show you all which you are doing against my ways, the disobedience of your heart, if you will allow me. And I will help you to change from these ways, my children. For these ways are not good for your soul. These ways bring sickness and disease, despair, anxiety, fear. I wish to lift this off you so that you have a, 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 a peaceful mind, a clear mind, a sound mind. I have not given you a spirit of fear, my children, but power, love and a sound mind, self-control. I love you, my beloved ones, and I want you to walk in peace on the earth while the uh, those around you tremble and shake with fear. Those who do not know me, they cannot hide from me, my children. I am everywhere. I am omnipotent and omnipresent. I am in all things. I am all things. Blessed children in the world, I wish that none shall perish, but all shall come to the glory of paradise with me. All shall come to heaven. Or shall see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Or shall walk with me each day. Walk with me through the garden of paradise. Walk with me through eternal life. My children, place your hand in mine and I promise to walk with you, to come and inhabit you, to dwell within you through my Holy Spirit. Confess your sins before the Son of God, the Son of Righteousness, Jesus Christ. My Son, my Holy Son given for all the world as a sacrifice for your sins. The Holy Lamb who was slain. He died for you, my children. His body was broken. He was beaten, bruised beyond recognition. My children, he was bruised for your transgression. He was crushed for your iniquity. The punishment that brings you peace was upon him, and by his wounds you are healed. Believe in his healing this day. Confess the mighty name of Jesus. Confess that you love him, that you will serve and honour him, that you will obey his will and commands. For he is your God, he is a part of me, your Father in heaven. He is my Son. He is the King of righteousness, the King of glory. He came to the earth for you, to show you the way to heaven, to show you the way to me, to make a way through the darkness to tear the veil in two, so that you can enter into my courts with praise and thanksgiving. He has made a way for you, my children, and you need to either accept or deny him this day. You either place your hand in his, or you place your hand in the hand of the world. The world will only lead to, lead to death and decay, to destruction, to turmoil. Oh, my children, Lariana, if you are lacking peace at this time, Kashyakata, walk towards the light, walk towards me, walk towards the glory, walk towards your Saviour, Jesus Christ, and he will bring you peace. He will carry your burdens. He will take away your sin. He will show you a better way to live without fear, 
without anger and hatred in your heart, living in complete forgiveness of others. He will forgive you and you will forgive those who have hurt you. Those who have been forgiven much, forgive greatly, my children. Everyone has sinned and fallen short of my glory, every single person on the earth. But this sin can be removed through the blood of my son, through his death and resurrection. He was the sacrificial lamb. He died for your sin. He took the punishment in your place, my children. The punishment that was meant for you. He willingly laid down his life because he loves you so much, each and every child, because you are our precious creation. We want you all to come home. Every person from every nation, we want you all to come home to the wedding feast of the Lamb, the wedding supper. You are all invited this day, but many will refuse. Many will walk away. Many will be too busy to hear this word right to the end. Many will deny me before man. My children, don't do this, for on the other side we will deny you. We love you, my children, and we have brought all you need to know on the earth through my Holy Bible, through my prophets, through my ministers in the world. We have brought to you divine knowledge. We have not left you as orphans. We have not left you in the dark. Come to us now, my children. It is not too late. While you have life and breath in your lungs, you can confess the name of Jesus you confess that I am your Father in heaven. You can choose to believe. All you have in this lifetime is to believe. There is nothing else. Your money cannot save you. All you need to do is trust in me. Trust in my word, trust in my promises, and I promise, my children, that I will lead you into paradise at life's end. You will leave your body. This body that you live in now is temporary, my children. It will pass away, but your spirit is eternal. Your spirit will pass into the next realm, into the heavenly glory, to where I am. And you will see me face to face. You will feel my love. You will feel the tangible presence of heaven upon your soul, and you will never wish to leave. But those who have not received my son, who have not been forgiven of their sins, who do not believe in my ways, when they pass from their body, they should go into a place of hell, of darkness, separation from their God. Complete terror fills their spirit, darkness. My children, you do not want to go to this place called hell. You do not want to be separated from your God. And therefore I am calling out to you this day. I am crying out to you to come to me. I do not want you to be separated from my love for one minute longer. Every single human being has a choice to make. Me or the world. Eternal life or eternal separation from your God. What do you choose this day, my children? I am speaking directly to you now. Fall to your knees and confess the name of Jesus. Confess your sins and can you ask to turn from your wicked ways. Ask us to help you and we will help you. We will get you through this lifetime. We will fill you with our spirit. You will feel the tangible spirit of God upon your soul. You will be complete on the inside. We will heal your mind, your body and your spirit over time. We will deliver you from all kriya demonic kriya nahashi kitiki nakate possession, demonic influence, demonic torment, demonic voices. We will deliver you from the darkness, my children. I thank you for listening to this word to this day, my children. I love you with all of my heart. Come to me this day. Give unto me your life. Give unto me your whole heart and soul, and I promise to give unto you my heart and soul. My will and desires for your life, good things for your life. Your life will change for the better, my children, and you will never look back. You will never want to go back to the place you are in now, place of darkness without light. 
you will rejoice and you will want to sing praises to my holy name. Because your spiritual eyes will be open for the very first time. Your heart will be opened. Your mind will be delivered. From the world to things that are greater, higher, spiritually more awakening and alive. There is so much more for you to experience on the earth, my children, if you'll only come to me and allow your spirit to come alive in my word, in my presence, in my glory, in my love. I am with you this day, my children. Come to me now, in the name of my Son, your Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, through the power of the Holy Spirit. Reach out your hand and place it in mine. I am your Father in heaven and I love you eternally. This is the word of the Lord your God. Amen.